I wish I'd known that everyone felt the same way I did when I arrived, that everyone was nervous and no one really knew anyone. That is all just about putting yourself out there. You, you get a gut feeling sometimes, you're like, I've got to go here. And even though it was six hours away from my hometown, I was like, I've just got to go for it. Anglia Ruskin University, my goodness me, what a year you so many people that will help you when you apply for future things after you graduate and there's always something to do and people to meet that will benefit you in the future. We all get involved in new things, there are lots of things going on every single day and I'm always involved in something. Meeting students here was the first inspiration I got. It's amazing because I feel like I'm at home. And the winner is... Chris Cook. I genuinely couldn't achieve what I have achieved without my degree, so um, thank you to Anglia Ruskin University for helping me with that. This award just says that you're on the right path, not only for my own career, but for um, inspiring future generations to do what I do. If I could give one piece of advice to a future graduate, Go all in, commit to it, go full in on it, get that, that dream. Winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award, Professor Amari Gaston. And I should really thank Anglia Rask University for starting me off in my life journey. We are so proud of you, all that you have achieved throughout your journey at ARU. Thank <laughs> you.
Good everybody, please be seated. As academic registrar, it is both my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to Peterborough Cathedral for this afternoon's ARU graduation ceremony. We've all gathered here today to celebrate the success of the classes of 2020 and 2021. I'm also particularly delighted to welcome the Right Worshipful, the Mayor of the City of Peterborough, Councillor Stephen Lane. Thank you for joining us for our celebrations. You are most welcome. Well, it's been quite a year, hasn't it? I'm sure there have been many occasions in the last 18 months when you all doubted you would ever get to a graduation ceremony. But you have done, you're here, and many congratulations from all of us for simply completing your studies in such unprecedented circumstances. So now that you are here, what is this all about? Well, graduation ceremonies date back to the 15th century, and it is a tradition that has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step. And graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, where they will use the skills and talents developed during their studies to contribute to the future advancement of society. As each graduand crosses the stage, they will pause, bow their head, and doff their hat to the vice chancellor, who will respond in kind, both to acknowledge their success but also their transition to the new role of graduate. We will applaud them for their success so far, but also in anticipation of the contribution we expect them to make to society in the future. At the conclusion of our ceremony, the Vice Chancellor will formally admit all new graduates to the community of scholars, and as new members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession and that will bring our ceremony to a close. During proceedings, those graduating with higher research awards will have their hoods placed upon them by the Vice Chancellor to indicate that they have attained the very highest levels of academic achievement. So we are now ready to begin our formal proceedings. I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session, and I call upon the Vice Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address you all. Vice Chancellor. Mr. Mayor, distinguished guests, graduands, family and friends, colleagues, as Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I am delighted to join you today at your graduation ceremony. And firstly, to all those graduating today, my congratulations on reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. Today is a day of great celebration. It's an opportunity for each of you to take stock and to reflect and celebrate your achievements to date, but also to look forward to the exciting careers that stretch out in front of you. And whatever career you enter, you are the future. You now have the opportunity and the responsibility to embrace and promote change to implement new ideas and new ways of working. The passion, energy, and commitment that led you to undertake your ARU degree and gave you the strength and resilience to succeed in that task despite all the challenges you have faced, including those posed by this dreadful pandemic can now be applied to building your careers and realizing your aspirations. With your passion and your expertise, you really can now make a difference, helping society to address the challenges that we all face nationally and globally. And we will have succeeded in our task if we have helped you to develop the skills, confidence, and determination <laughs> to influence and lead your professions, to promote change, and to achieve your ambitions. As well as serving our students, we at ARU are fully committed to serving our region and the communities in which we are based. Economic development, 
social inclusion, business support, tackling health inequalities. These are all fundamentally important elements of our mission, transforming lives through innovative, inclusive, and entrepreneurial education and research. And despite the challenges that we have all faced over the last couple of years, it has been a highly successful time for ARU. We were identified as one of the top 20 universities in the UK for graduate employment, and one of the top 10 universities in the UK for social inclusion. And of course, we were announced as the chosen higher education partner for the establishment of a new university in Peterborough, ARU Peterborough, due to open next September. And this fantastic initiative will provide life-changing opportunities for local people who may not previously have considered degree level study and deliver a skilled local workforce that will meet employers' needs. We were also delighted to be chosen to deliver the world's largest healthcare entrepreneurship program as we are now the official partners of NHS England and NHS Improvement to nurture healthcare innovators from across the country and help them gain the commercial skills, knowledge, and expertise they will need to make their ideas become a reality. And we were chosen to train new police officers for the Metropolitan Police, as well as all seven police forces across the east of England as part of a national overhaul of police officer training last year. And our students won innumerable prizes, including the Student Social Worker of the Year, Mental Health Nurse of the Year, the Student Nurse of the Year, the top prize, the Sir Lenny Henry Award at the Royal Television Society's Midlands Student Television Awards, and the new talent category, at the World Illustration Awards. And our reach extends well beyond the eastern region in which we are based. We are a truly global community of students and researchers. We attract students from over 180 countries, and they flourish with us because they find a second home here. And our researchers, too, have worldwide reach and impact and research that has real tangible impact on people's lives was given a new urgency in the pandemic. And our researchers responded rapidly to the COVID-19 outbreak by committing to research that would help us to understand and develop interventions to address the massive impact the pandemic was having on all our communities, locally, nationally, and internationally. Their work included research into ways to speed up coronavirus testing, research into how COVID-19 affects the eyes, how it is making tinnitus worse, and an investigation into innovative drug combinations that can reduce complications in COVID-19 patients. So in our research, as in our education, we are having real tangible impact on people's lives and that's something of which we can all be really proud. But above all, we define our success as a university by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. And for us to succeed, we will need your support as our newest alumni. Because the support we receive from our alumni and our friends really matters adding value to the education we provide future students and helping our researchers to push boundaries. So please help us, help us to build links with your networks and your professions and spread the good word about your university. Before I close, I would please like to pay special tribute to your families and friends who have provided you with their constant support throughout your education. You and we owe them our sincere gratitude, so thank you very much indeed. 
And I'd also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues, the staff right across ARU, for their tireless work and professionalism and their extraordinary commitment to supporting you and all in our community through the challenges of the pandemic. But above all, once again, my warm congratulations to you all. I do hope you enjoy your day. I wish you well wherever your ARU degree takes you, and please do stay in touch. ARU is your university for life, and our success and your success are inextricably linked. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, thank you. So we now come to our main business for this afternoon's ceremony, the presentation of those receiving awards. And I now call upon Pro Vice-Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Nigel Harrison, to come to the podium to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Professor Harrison. Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care, the Class of 2020. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Nursing Adult, Azubai Akaiz. Rose Aku Rugu. <laughs> Vichel Oliquino Andea. <laughs> Tosef Anjam. <laughs> Agnes and Santiwa Azar. Sanaya Sarah Babu. Gemma Charlotte Barnett. Shermaine Nola Bogle. Lamin Bojang. Abigail Brookbanks. <laughs> Netse Chapwanya. <laughs> Anu Chenat Ferdinand. <laughs> Emily Dunthorne. Susma Dura. <laughs> Alexandra Foe. <laughs> Tanya Fletcher Smith. <laughs> Daniela Freebell. <laughs> Francesca George. Bybin Joseph. <laughs> Farida Keldai. <laughs> Charlotte King. <laughs> Fiona Jane Leach. <laughs> Elizabeth Livingston. Mai Karim Meng Najo. <laughs> Lunjail Magunai. <laughs> Donna Mills Nidicham. <laughs> Suzyla Dupan.
Kinga Anne Nöska. Ruth Owasu Banahen. Chanda Paran Galan. Kirsty Potter. Emily Pryke. Emma Rassen. Tinash Roland Sakala. Edward James Saunders. Karen Sennett. Deepa Shojai. Holly Smith. Kelly Tanya Stanton. George Tajed. Amy Louise Thompson. Amy Marianne Thorogood. Georgia Wade. Rachel Charlotte Wheatley. Priscilla Wonga. For the award of Diploma of Higher Education, Nursing Associate, Anya Atkinson. Jane Elizabeth Batley. Rachel Louise Brown. Jan Can McLean. Alexandra Clark. Mary Wahajai Q. Crouch. <laughs> Ernest Devindran. <laughs> Madeleine Elizabeth Sands Farrow. <laughs> Bryony Fordham. Lane Zenzel Gumby. Claire Elaine Humphreys. Michelle Ann Johnson. Rohe Jo Cham. Rebecca Emma Long. <laughs> Jessica Louise Lombardi. <laughs> Shelby Morell. <laughs> Olivia Grace Polson. Susan Claire Shiara. <laughs> Eileen Ida Valentino. <laughs> Lauren Amy Woods. <laughs> Charlotte Catherine Wright.
For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Practice, Clinical, Chloe Louise Fasakali. <laughs> Kerry Gardner. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Social Work, Natalie Bennington. <laughs> Brian Stephen Brown. Irina Burke. Vicky Gunner. Masiwa Yuka Varadzo Wata. Victoria Jazova. Kanyo Doris Najadika. <laughs> Rachel Naze. <laughs> Lee Louise Marie Pope. <laughs> Lisa Marie Robinson. Reepa Thapa Magar. Charlotte Tia Williams. For the award of Master of Science, Medical and Healthcare Education, Nicola Jane Guthrie. Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care, the Class of 2021. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Acute Care, Rachel Mary Dolby. <laughs> Gladys Elizabeth Weiserho. For the, for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Nursing Adult, Rhiannon Booker. <laughs> Catherine Wendy Burns. <laughs> Charlotte Claxton. Nuria Comino Buano. <laughs> Sinai Dennis. <laughs> Eleni Georgia Aston Fox. <laughs> Claire Francis. <laughs> Shobhan. Jade Hart. <laughs> Scarlet Humbles. <laughs> Evelina Limas. <laughs> Catherine Ann Litwinchuk. <laughs> Banjula Majugala. Agnieszka Mehedinchu. <laughs> Megan Page Miller. <laughs> Amy Louise Morris. <laughs> Maya Jade Mumford. <laughs> Denise Ann Paddock. Charlotte Louise Rayner. Woo! 
Gemma Waterhouse. <laughs> Emilia Wisbicker. <laughs> For the award of Diploma of Higher Education, Nursing Associate, Teresa Joyce Jose Maria Guaivambo Leary. For the award of Master of Science, Advanced Practice, Clinical, Tracy Elizabeth Murphy. <laughs> Janine Cheryl Van Gorp. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Social Work, Victoria Jane Bass. Nicole Bickley. Kimberly Broom. Rachel Brown. Tammy Coldwell. Elizabeth Ariadne Fairfax. Chantelle Fox. Samantha McCarthy. Amy Newcomb. Albert Shamu. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present those who have been awarded higher research degrees. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Applying Self-Compassion, the Experience of Student Nurses, Vanessa Jane Waller. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the posthumous award of the Professional Doctorate in Health and Social Care for a very valued member of staff, Deputy Head of School and Course Leader for Nursing, Jan Helen Lavelle. Vice-Chancellor, that completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Professor Harrison, thank you. We have many distinguished academic staff at Anglia Ruskin University, and I should now like to ask one of them, senior lecturer Leslie Drayton, to come to the podium to offer a few words of reflection. Leslie. Vice-Chancellor, 
Ladies, gentlemen and graduates, it's my very great pleasure to stand before you today and to speak with you for a few minutes as we celebrate the achievements of our graduating students. Firstly, congratulations to all of you for reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. You have all worked so hard in a challenging environment within a global pandemic supporting our NHS and moving forward in your chosen careers. Today is not just about celebrating your achievements, but looking at your future careers, which will continue to be wide and varied. We are so proud to see you all sitting there in your robes. These symbolize something that takes us back to the clerical origins of universities almost a thousand years ago. And the robes mean that you will always be a member of this university joining a group of people who have studied with us, you are now a graduate. A few hundred years ago, university was not an option for most people. 200 years ago, there were only two universities in England and few could attend. These people missed the experiences that you have had, being part of a unique learning community, having access to an outstanding education, and most importantly, being challenged and exploring and researching the evidence. One of the most difficult things about being at university is having your mind changed by debate and argument. People generally love their own opinions and hate to be challenged. Changing your minds requires courage, openness to change. It's all very well thinking that you are bold or right, but if you are never challenged, how do you know that the things you believe about yourself are true? All of you have taken that difficult path. I assure you have engaged in arguments and debates that have changed and sharpened and enlarged your minds. You have been faced with assignments that maybe you think of doing something less difficult and working in placements that challenge your understanding of health, lifestyle and illness. However difficult these experiences have been, you have made it through and you will be richer and more capable for overcoming these challenges. You have completed a course that has prepared you for what some might call the real world, a world within which there are many exciting and varied opportunities for career development. I hope that we have also prepared you to be leaders of the future demonstrating the energy, the passion and vision to make changes for the better through your care, compassion, competence, communication, courage, commitment and the ability to reflect. By graduating here today, you have not only demonstrated that you have the required academic skills to confer your ARU Academic Award, but you have joined a profession that has been long held in high esteem by the whole of society, a profession that continues to adapt to changes and supports society. We have all seen evidence of this within the last two years. This profession will continue to support you throughout your career. In years to come, when you assess how you got to where you are, then this day will be one of the most important markers of your journey through life. It's a day of recognition that efforts have paid off. You did not just sit back and say to yourself, I know it all. You kept going and earned the right to these robes and your new title. No one can ever take that away from you. Now you have to take your next steps, and that will also mean taking risks. A few years ago, I started my journey into nursing. I always wanted to be a nurse since a young child. I wanted to pursue a career which I knew would help people and make a difference. I was determined to achieve this. It was hard at times, but I did it, and it was one of the best decisions of my life. Since then, there have been many decisions and risks, and my career has taken many different pathways, but I always took them and continued to develop and learn. I continue to take them as I continue to learn, as we all do. What I have found is that in order to succeed in whatever you do in the future, you will need to be positive, reflect and have willingness to learn. Take feedback and continue to develop. We hope that you have started, we have started you on that journey and you can continue to walk alongside you, encouraging you and supporting your aspirations to become everything that you inspire to be. You have been and will continue to be part of our unique, inspiring community and have already made a significant contribution to our society. 
In summary, we are proud of you all. You have worked very hard and deserve to be here. We will always be here to support you, but you did this. You got here and you will take those risks to take the next steps. Congratulations to you all. Leslie, thank you. We now continue with our main business for this afternoon's ceremony, the presentation of those receiving awards. And I now call upon Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic at Arden University, Professor Helen Scott, to come to the podium to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from ARU's collaboration with Arden University. Professor Scott. Vice-Chancellor. It is my pleasure to present to you graduates from Arden University Class of 2020 for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Graphic Design, Kate Edwards. <laughs> Nazreen Khalik. <laughs> Donna Townsend. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Carmen Gabriella Saron Ramos. <laughs> Ashley Marie Knowles. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Human Resource Management, Nuruddin Gabadedo Ajibade. Max Power. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Tourism, Lisa Ann Barton. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Marketing, Michael Arig Basola. Stacey Hellier. <laughs> Emma Mann. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Business with Finance, Lamin J. Sawo. <laughs> Lindsay White. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Law and Criminology, Julius Onosuru Ekaromeo Arakiko. <laughs> Ifini Chuku Amechi Chegwe Kadiri. For the award of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Common Law, Irene Najiji Karayuki. <laughs> Colin Bannister. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration, Business Administration, Ryan Smith. Jaco Van Zeeland. <laughs> Jasper Willem Johan Chriselle Verhelst. <laughs> Number two. So we've got. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Project Management, David Boardman. <laughs> Oliver Kami <Kamey> Ogunsarkin. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration, Service Excellence, Harinda Bansal.
for the award of Master of Arts Strategic Human Resource Management, Maurizio Minuni. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Human Psychology and Criminology, Amy Dobson. <laughs> Jane Maisie. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing Information Management, Lubna McCoon. <laughs> Alison Mills. <laughs> Martin Thorway. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Psychology Applied, Donna Hartley. <laughs> Liesl Smith. <laughs> Vanessa Walton. For the award of Master of Science Strategic Engineering Management, Nadir Syed. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Health and Social Care, Francine Kanya Batembo. <laughs> Lindalani Sabanda. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure <laughs> to present to you graduates from Arden University, class of 2021, for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Human Resource Management, Dennis Jacudi Bennett. <laughs> Nadia L. Harak. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Business Tourism, Florence Bishop. <laughs> Esna Chapato. <laughs> no. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Business Administration, Jane Dominies. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Project Management, and Jay Diekman Page. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business, Guinevere Curry. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Law and Criminology, Jemima James. For the award of Master of Science Strategic Project Management, Rajesh Chungath Prabhakaran. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing, Alphonse Ehomba. <laughs> John Francis. Justin Kaola. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Computing, Information Management, Harjoit Sandhu. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Human Psychology and Human Resource Management, Esther Adeshian. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Psychology Applied, Dorcas Oluwateo Abajide. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, 
That completes the list of graduands for me to present to you today. Thank you. Professor Scott, thank you. Congratulations to all our new graduates. A very well done. But can I now ask you to join me in recognizing the success of those graduates who, for whatever reason, were unable to join us at this afternoon's ceremony. We should acknowledge their achievements also. So please join me. We are now nearing the end of our ceremony, but first I should like to call on one of our wonderful new graduates, Scarlett Humbles, to come to the podium to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of all of those receiving awards today. Scarlett. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the Vice Chancellor's honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow graduates. It is my pleasure to offer the vote of thanks from myself and on behalf of all the students graduating at this ceremony today. When we first started this journey, our biggest worries were getting good first impressions, getting above the 45% pass rate in our essays and exams, and returning our library books in on time. But who would have thought a whole global pandemic later that we would all be here today graduating? We have all achieved so much since the first few weeks of starting at Anglo Ruskin University. We have expanded our knowledge further than we've ever imagined, experienced life-changing events, made friends of our peers, and most importantly, we have discovered who we want to be and shaped ourselves into the people we want to be. In that process, we've discovered a greater understanding of why we are here and chosen our chosen routes. None of this would have been possible without our senior staff, lecturers, personal tutors, and all the staff behind the scenes at Anglo Ruskin University. Therefore, I must say a huge thank you from us all. Of course, being at university is a roller coaster of emotions with twists, turns, highs, and low points, and I'm sure at times many of us have wanted to stop the ride. However, with the encouragement from our support, support from our guests, friends, and families, and many of whom have made it here today, we made it. So thank you for so much with all our love. Looking forward to the future, we now start the next exciting chapter of our lives in our chosen fields. We can use our newfound knowledge and our solid foundations that we have established from our time spent at Anglo Ruskin University to build and design our futures. The opportunities are endless and we shall all continue to develop and broaden our horizons and definitely make you all proud. May I please ask my fellow graduates to stand and join me in applauding all of the amazing people that are here with us today who have enabled us to be who we are. Scarlett, thank you and very well done. I now call for one final time on the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address the new graduates. Vice-Chancellor. So now, please, will all those who have crossed the stage and been presented to me today, will you please stand? As Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to the degrees, diplomas, and awards for which you have been presented to me today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom of thought and scholarship. Our warmest congratulations to you all. And that brings us to the end of our ceremony, and I hereby declare proceedings closed. Can I now ask everybody to stand for the academic procession?
Thank you. 